what's one thing that you're looking forward to happening or a trend you can see coming up that that is going to really fundamentally change how people do things i think there's some things i'm not going to pretend i'm necessarily excited about them but there's some quite major things coming uh, i'm probably more scared by them in fact like if i'm uh, going to be honest and everyone should be scared of this um because um one of the sort of founding principles of digital marketing is using cookies right to, to track what people are, are doing on the on their you know computers about who they are uh, where they've been before you know if you, i'm sure most of the people listening to this podcast understand what i'm talking about you know you go on to Marks and Spencer's and you look at a nice uh, green jumper and that green jumper follows you around the internet suspiciously you didn't buy it it follows you around says buy me buy me buy you here's a blue one as well it's very similar it's quite annoying um so it does that uh, so that's all based off seeing cookies um and that's the way that all kind of conversion tracking is done identifies you tells the tells the person that you bought something off their website tells google uh, or whoever you're advertising with that that's happened and it matches it all together so that you can report back to your advertiser that they've sold so many things uh, from the advertiser uh that's all changing so google in, in its wisdom and, and everyone really um due to sort of privacy concerns okay there have been various scandals in the past you know Cambridge Analytica, all these different things that have happened and people have become concerned. You know, people like the EU have become concerned that we're tracking people a bit too much on, on digital and then getting too much sort of precise information about what their behavior and obviously people themselves don't necessarily like that. There is obviously this trade-off that you talk about, you know, if, if you're using a free service, then you know, you're the product, your data is the product, which is true to a certain extent. You're giving that data to Google or Facebook in return for using a free really useful service that you, you perhaps enjoy and find um, useful in your job or in your in your leisure life. Um, but in, in return, they're showing you some ads which may well be targeted based on your behavior, both on their website, but potentially also um, going across the internet on a network of uh, sort of affiliated websites to Google or to Facebook or to other other social media um, platforms or, or digital providers. Um, so yeah, so there's a kind of trade-off there. Um, I would say, and I'm obviously massively biased, I would say what's worse than um, targeted ads, the answer to that is untargeted ads, because you're always going to have ads, because these are services which are free, they have to monetize somehow. So unless we change the fundamental way the internet works today, which I'm not saying we, we shouldn't do that, maybe we should, um, you know, if, you, if ever we all subscribe to Google, or we all subscribe to all our newspapers that we read, our, you know, the football websites, or whatever it is, if we all just paid a subscription or a micropayment every time we read an article, then we wouldn't have to have all these troublesome ads. Fortunately, we don't want to do that, and that hasn't proven to work that well. Maybe it works well for like the New York Times or for us to select or the FT or select sort of publishers, but mainly that doesn't work. People want a free internet. If you have a free internet, you've got to have you've got to have ads. Um, so the big change, yeah. I'm um, sorry, I was giving you the whole history of the internet. Um, the, the big change is cookies going away. 